Hi guys, um, so today's video is going to be um, testing out some beauty um, makeup kit that I bought. Um, I bought it off Amazon and that is just this pop feel like kit and that so I thought I'd test that out. I'm currently filming this on a Monday, um, way before this is being uploaded but yeah. So I'm from this on a Monday. I'm just waiting for my college tutor to um, put up some work onto our team's page. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd just film a bit of this while I wait and everything. So yeah, that is why I'm currently downstairs since my dad is upstairs working. My mum and my sister are out at work and I'm just waiting for some college work to be put on. Um, so I bought this, I want to say this was like 20, 25 pounds, um, I bought this off Amazon. There were loads of different types of kits but I just went with the kit um, 005, um, so yeah, I just picked a random one up and that, um, I have noticed it is a bit damaged here. Um, I don't know if that was from me or it came damaged because um, I did open it and that and that. But yeah, and that's about like all I did to it. Um, I didn't really have a really good look at it. Um, so yeah, so it just comes with this nice bag, well in a bag. So I thought this would be like a nice size for like putting your like your day to day makeup in, and if you're going, up, if you're travelling, and that. So yeah. So I thought it would be a, a nice size bag. Um, I am going to try and use the products that it comes with and that since it has a sponge. Um, it also has some makeup brushes and that. It has an eyebrow pencil and an eye and lip liner pencil as well. Okay. And that, but I will open them a bit. So yeah, I am gonna try as can use as much of this stuff as possible to make a face, um, a full face, and that. But if I need to use any of my products, I will. I'll just end up running upstairs and getting them. And that, but I just wanna look at the products that it has first in this kit, and then go from there of what kind of makeup look I'm gonna go for. And that. It also has a concealer and some matte lipsticks it looks like and a waterproof brow gel I think. Um, so it comes in like little plastic wrappers, some lipsticks, I'm going to say maybe a lip balm. I will open all this up and show you guys in a minute. Um, i guessing this is a eyeshadow palette and there's another random kind of palette and it doesn't really say what it is um, then a lip gloss palette it's nice like packaging well this one does anyway it looks nice anyway so I've been all like plastic and everything and then there is a concealer, a full colour concealer in three different shades. And that, if I was to use any of these, it would be this one. But these two you could use as like contour or something if you like my kind of skin colour. But yeah, so it comes with then three different shades and concealer. Um, comes with a primer and then it has like three different kind of glosses in it it's like a gold blue pink and silver and that is all that's inside the bag and if you need to want to you can just take this out which i probably would and that and just leave it as a clear bag so yeah so let me just unwrap everything and show so i have just finished unpackaging everything um, I haven't really looked at it in detail or anything, but yeah, so I'm going to start off with like the brushes and everything. So, you got a little mini sponge, which I showed you guys 
two eyeshadow brushes um just one like flat brushes and that and then you get a foundation -y kind of brush just a flat foundation brush and like an angled kind of brush as well so yeah i am going to try and use these brushes um I might not use them for the sole purpose of what they're meant to be used for but I will end up using them and that and then you get four glitters you get a gold, silver, pink and blue and that so yeah it's coming off on my skin but yeah so you've got them I probably won't be using them so they're going back into the bag um, so yeah and then you also get a small little primer a photo finish primer and it's meant to be smooth and blur and that so yeah and then you get a la girl pro concealer and that, you only get one shade on this and this is my shade was porcelain which i got so yeah that's the shade that i get so that's only you only get one shade in that and then the other concealers um, the full cover concealers it's this one and that and you get three shades of it so yeah get that and then you get a brow eyebrow pencil and that whereas one end is a brush and then the other end is like the actual pencil and then you also get a lip eye and lip liner this also has aloe vera and vitamin e in it and it's just a black lip liner um so yeah i don't know when i've ever worn a black lip liner i'm not sure i have but that was like an, i used an eyeshadow um eyeliner thing that was like for halloween and that was like it so yeah you get that and that's the only one um, you get a lip balm, just a plain white lip balm, and that, and then you get three lipsticks with it in this like, it's like a bullet kind of shape. Um, there's this shade, which is a red shade, I might do a little like swatch or something on my hand, it looks like ready orangey kind of colour um then you've got this shade which is like a dark kind of thing it does have like an, a bit missing out of it and that because i went to open it and um i caught the lid um quite a, like a dark brown purpley kind of tinge to it whereas that one looks kind of orange orangey of red and that and then you've also got this one which is like a nudie kind of lip like a nude light pinky kind of lip so that's the three lipsticks that you get and then you also get three matte um, lip creams with it and that you get this like browny kind of one like this dark brown sorry for my hands being a bit like sore um they need moisturizing and that um you get this like bright pink well in my kit i did anyway um so yeah a bright pink and then also a deep kind of red it looks like in this that so yeah a deep red so it comes with a variety of colours and that um you also get a waterproof brow set and that you only get it in one colour like the brows um there's two of these one is the lip palette and one is something else 
um, I can't remember because one just came like this in plastic packaging and then one was inside like the lip box so I can't remember which one's which and it shows no indication of which one is which until you open them which is a bit annoying but yeah uh, this one's the lip one and it comes with all different like kind of colours and shades I'm just going to take that to clear film off so it has blacks, browns, it looks like, like a purpley bluey kind of colour just purples, pinks, like nudes like and ready orangey colours so that has a wide variety of lip glosses in this I don't really use lip glosses like the small ones in palettes I normally just pick it out of like a packaging like this but yeah so this must be the other one yes it's a like concealer kind of palette like a small one with some colour correctors in it as well so yeah like a contour concealer palette thing since you can use the darker colours for like contour if you're lighter than that so yeah and then the last thing you get is this eyeshadow palette um it's the blood blood um eyeshadow palette and that so yeah you get sixteen different colours in that and it also has a mirror on it. But yeah, so you've got money bags, love and cocoa, holla for a dollar, gold dipper, old money, chocolate gold, um, new money, living uh, lavish, um, dipping diamonds, famous rich girl cocoa truffle classy and sassy rolling in dough so bougie and declarant and that so yeah that comes with like different colors so there's like silver light like nudie colors a black a pink and like a green color if you can hear that ice cream man because <laughs> the window's open since um i've just got what i need to do for college and we get to pick what we want to do so i'm just like, painting my nails so i'm going to paint my nails so i've opened the window and that so yeah that is all that come in that um this makeup kit so i'm going to be using all of that apart from the glitters um i might not use one of these depending on what one and probably use like this or something and like this for my concealer and then use one of these for my um contour I'm not sure which one yet but i made a list of everything that didn't come in it which i would have needed to do for my makeup and that and some of the brushes i would have wanted so i've gone and got my own ones so it comes with so it doesn't come with like foundation powder bronzer blusher highlight and mascara which i would normally use so i just went and got the other stuff it also doesn't come with like a lip liner unless you want to use a black one um but i just thought i'll skip the lip liner stage and just use something else um i also need to work out which lip product i'm going to use and what eyeshadow look i'm going to do um so yeah so i'll probably pick that around the time i'm actually going to do it so yeah i'm just gonna get right into doing the makeup look so i have literally just set everything up in that um i am going to do it in real time i'm not going to speed anything up but when i'm going to be using like my own foundation and my own products I am just gonna like skip that part out of filming since it's literally like the same as what I would normally do in that. So when I'm using my own products, I will not.
film that part and I'll just apply them to camera and then come back to when I am going to be applying something out of the kit. Um, I also forgot to say the kit also doesn't have a um, colour correcting eyelid primer which I also use on my lid, um, eyelids so I'm also going to be using my own of that. So yeah, so I'm just going to go in and apply some primer and that just some of this professional thing I'm going to use my hands since I normally use my hands anyway so yeah I'm going to do this how I normally do my makeup and that um, it's a bit thick and that but it is nice and smooth to apply and that so yeah I can normally do that in like a couple of like pumps of my own one and like be able to do it on like my whole face but this one feels like I have to do like I can't spread it out on the whole of my face I have to go in like this is like my third time going in to get some in that so yeah it is do you do need to use a lot more product since it doesn't really spread out that much well for me it doesn't anyway um so yeah but it's still nice and smooth and that on the skin so yeah i'm just gonna go in with color correcting my whole face i'm going just going to wet the sponge i'm just going to use the color correcting palette and go in with like the green color do have to push down like slightly hard and that's all that come off for me so on that so I might just try and use my finger to see if more comes off a bit yeah so to use this you have to use your finger and that I don't know if one of the brushes would work in this palette or not but I'm just gonna but I would normally use like sponge when I do my colour correcting on like all the redness and that but yeah and what I didn't realise until I used it this dark shade was popping out of the whole thing but yeah so I just used the green from this since don't need any of the other colours. Not this car's like door is banging outside. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm just gonna use this LA Girl um, Pro concealer under my eyes, and then I'm going to use this concealer on any of my spots. Since I want to say this one might be a bit too light for me. Since I try to put all these on and this one you could barely see that much. So yeah. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to use this second shade. The middle shade for my, my contour. And that. So yeah. I'm just going to do my concealer. under my eyes and that and then do any spots that I may have with the pot and the sponge out to swirl it around and like press and some came off if I put it there you can barely tell a difference in that so yeah I'm just gonna put this on my spots 
lighting that I have and I have a lot at the moment so yeah the lighting may change because I'm literally just using natural lighting at the moment and most of the light is in the garden at the moment and I'm facing the front of the house so yeah not, and I was too lazy to bring down my ring light so I'm also going to brand in this. This is a really nice size for like in this corner, like under my eyes, for concealer. Since it is small, it would be a nice shape around there as well. And that, since it is small, so it can get into the smaller places. And that, and nice sort of fit under the eye. And that, so that is my concealer done. Um, I sometimes go over the top of my foundation with some concealer, so I might leave that concealer out. I'm also going to put on some lip balm since my lips are a bit dry. I did have lip balm on before, but I'm just going to put a bit more on since the first lot has come off. that I want to say it has like a minty kind of smell or something to it I don't know it's like an original like plain lip balmy kind of smell but yeah which probably isn't mint but yeah I'm just gonna press I love how I've got a mirror behind, behind this and I'm still using my iPad <laughs> as a mirror so yeah I might have I knocked the iPad so um it might be a bit closer to me now but I'm doing my makeup so it doesn't really matter that much I'm just going to put it here I'm not going to put any on my chin since I don't feel like doing a chin contour today, um, I'm just going to do my temples and my cheekbones and that. So yeah. And then I'm going to leave it how it is and then blend it in when I put my foundation on. And that and that is all for these. And that, they're quite nice, I like this. And the bum's quite nice as well um this was nice but it's like very really thin the applicator but i guess that's how it is anyway so yeah didn't really do much from my bags but yeah my under eyes circles and everything but i probably will go over it a bit more once i have my foundation on anyway and then these um the lighter one is a bit light for my skin and that and then this one um is nice you do have to like like fill and put pressure on it and rub it for a while to get them off um and yeah so the blend i don't know what the blending of this is going to be but the other one the blending was all right and it was really smooth to blend and that so yeah, so I'm just going to do my foundation and then I'll be back once I've blended it. So I have just put some foundation on, um, I've done my concealer again and put some powder on. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on with my makeup and do some bronzer, blush and highlight. Since they haven't had it, have it in the pack palette so I'm just going to, the kit, so I'm just going to use my own that and finish off like my base makeup and that until I get to my brows and then I'll go dive. for my bronzer I'm just going to use this brush out of the pack so I am going to show you guys that since I thought I'd use this brush 
Um, it does seem really nice and soft when I just like stroke it and that. So hopefully it's nice. This probably would be used for like foundation or blending, but I'm just gonna use it to do my bronzer and that. So yeah, I'm gonna carry it down as well. It's really nice and soft. And that so uh, hopefully it'll be great for when I blend everything. So yeah. Shouldn't do half of my face. And that so yeah. It's really nice to do it with. But I feel like I have to do it like a couple of times with this brush it doesn't really pick up a lot like that's a couple of swirls around and it doesn't really pick up a lot to get the look I just realised I put a lot on my forehead and that you guys can barely tell how much you guys can probably see how much I put on um so yeah but yeah so looking at it it doesn't seem like I've put on a lot but it does pick up quite a lot because when I was doing it putting it on it didn't look like it was picking up loads on the brush but then I realised after I applied it a couple of times it does pick up a lot <laughs> as you can tell probably tell by my forehead <laughs> but yeah so I'm just going to carry on doing the rest of my makeup and sort this out. So I've done all like my base and everything. I am going to go in with the concealer again and just go around my brows and that with it and sort out my brows. I don't normally put some concealer around my brows but I thought I haven't used this brush yet and I was going to use it to do like the contour. Um, but I forgot about this and I used this sponge so I thought why not to try it with this and then I can just and out with this and then also go in with my um eyelid primer at the same time while I'm blending out of the concealer so yeah so I'm just gonna put this around the outside of my brows I am gonna do this off camera just so I can try and get them out like lighter than the other but I'm just going to go with it. Um, I'm just going to use the brow styler. I don't know if you use the brow set with this. But I'm just going to use them both at the same time. Because I normally just use a pencil and then go through with a brush. And then that's it. And I'm done. But yeah. Oh. That was great. I didn't even like wind it. And it just popped out with me taking it upside down. So, yeah, it's great to know. So yeah, I'm just going to go lightly using it. I'm scared it's gonna like end up falling out again so I'm just gonna do it lightly and I'm just gonna try and follow the guide of my eyebrow a bit that even though I'm filming this video I really don't care what my brows look like and that since I'm not going out anywhere since I am pre-recording this um and by pre-recording this you guys are seeing this in September and I'm filming this in February and that since this has come and 
it's just been sitting in my room and I've been wanting to look at everything and actually get rid of it and actually sort it out into if I want to keep the stuff then I'll keep it with my makeup and that and so yeah so I thought why not film it today and that so yeah I'm really pre filmed this so yeah um that is what they look like at the moment um they are dark but like the tops of my head is dark anyway so it is nice and that it is like somewhat smooth like the actual pencil and that but it takes like a couple of goes to actually get anything off of it um and that but it's also waterproof apparently perfect waterproof as well just saw that um which is nice but it kind of like fell out of the pencil out of the thing it either like snapped in half or it was like just a small little bit and it just fell out which is a bit strange since i haven't done anything or like knocked it or anything for it to do that but yeah so that happened the brush is nice though the brush is always nice and that and small so that's nice since i already i have one of like they, these from sleek i think it is and the brush is a bit longer but yeah i think it's nice having a smaller brush and then i'm just gonna go in with this waterproof brow set and that I might do this a bit wrong so forgive me I've never done this before no, I'm just gonna brush that very lightly Oh, that's not that bad, actually. Is it just this one looks darker to me? And I don't know what it is. Look at this. Because this has got like a brown tinge to it. Oh, that kind of sorted it out. But yeah. The also thing is, is I need to sort my brows out as well. But yeah. So this is nice it didn't add too much sharpness like i thought it would since this has got a tinge to it i did go lightly with it but yeah it's nice and great it also has like the small like applicator like the other one and that so that's nice and great um i'm just going to take this concealer off around try and blend it in not so yeah This is actually a good brush to do this actually. Um and that I'm just gonna go in with my primer. This is like a nice soft brush in that, but you do have to do like it's nice and soft and it's small so it's compact so you can just put it in like a small bag and that it's funny since this doesn't even look like half that much half full <laughs> and it was like up to the brim 
when I opened it with all the stuff. But yeah, so I'm just going to go in and do my eyeshadow with this. Um, I don't know what eyeshadow to do in that, so yeah. I might just do one of my, I don't know, I'm thinking of doing a natural -y kind of look. Since there's only like a light bluey silver, one pink and like one like green. So, and I want to try and use both of these in that. So yeah, so I might do like a naturally kind of look. So yeah, I might try that. Um, so I might use So Bougie and Coco Truffle with a bit of Rich Girl on top of So Bougie. So I might use So Bougie on my lid and I'm going to use the thinner one of the two um, brushes just to put this on and that I'm going to do both eyes at the same time and then that and I'll just put that on there lightly and then I'm going to use the thicker one of the two it's not really thick, it's just the wider one of the two and go in with Coco Truffle which is this one here so I'm going to use I use that one on the lid and I'm going to use that one in my crease and then put that one on top of the colour on my lid and I'm just going to put this in my crease all I need is like a couple of pats on here and then it comes up a bit they are quite like sheer it seems when I put it on not like let me use my arm like a little bit comes off so I do have to use it a couple of times to get some colour and rub it on like back and forth a bit in fact it didn't really help with my explanation since I put coated like loads on my brush but yeah just to get like a pigment come through they are pigmented it's just not really pigmented it has like a small hint of the pigment so yeah you do need to go over it like a couple of times and then i'm going to go back to the thin brush and just dip into rich girl a bit and just pack that on my lid i did like a couple of taps and a little bit came off for the actual shimmer and that so yeah it's showing up more like the glistening on like camera more than it is in person and that's I'm looking into like the mirror in the palette and it is showing up more on the camera and that so yeah it is really subtle and that so these are nice um it's a bit sharp if you use like the pointed end and that like digging into it so i had to kind of use like the flat part onto my crease so these are dues if you're just doing it like in one color on it and that I may be like using like that one for like one colour and then if you can put like a shimmer on top then use like the smaller one um and get like another like kind of brush for the crease or something but I'm trying to blend it all together a bit so it doesn't look that bad um she's on one of my own brushes and that um I don't think I was going to do this, but I thought, but I thought, why not? I'm going to end up needing to use it anyway, so I'm just going to try this eye and lip liner pencil. So yeah, I'm just going to use that on the tops 
of my eyes um i'm really bad at eyeliner so please don't judge me With this, it is sharp, so I was doing it lightly, and I had to go over it like a couple of times. Um, it does look slightly darker on camera than what it does in like my mirror, and that. But yeah, so is you do have to push down to get it darker in that, but yeah. But it still is black nonetheless. It's just if you want like a darker like kind of black then you have to put push down more but I went with like a slightly kind of black and I don't want to push down on my eyes anymore so yeah um I'm just gonna do my mascara off camera and then I'm going to put pick my lipstick and that and then I'll be back I'm now done with my mascara and everything so I'm just gonna go in with the lipstick the lighter lipstick and that since I thought this would be nicer than the like liquid and the matte lip cream since this is slightly darker. So I thought I'd just do this. Just slide this on. This is really smooth when applying. So yeah, I just thought one of the eye one of the brushes I used for the eyeshadow could well and truly be a lip brush. Lip gloss brush, <laughs> but I don't really use a lip gloss brush since I just use it for my eyeshadow. Since I don't really use lip glosses like this, so because I've done that. I will literally just use my um, pinky to you to apply a lip gloss. I might do one of these like three middle ones. Um, I might do this one um, purely because it's like a nudie colour and that just so it doesn't add too much to anything. Not that it's really doing anything, but I'll show you my finger. Some does kind of come off. Um, a little bit comes off when you rub it, but you have to rub it for a while. Not, but yeah. So my lip is feeling. Don't mind that part. But yeah, this is like the final look with the makeup kit plus like a couple extra things for like my actual makeup collection and that um i think it's good it is missing out like a couple things obviously like i've gone days where i don't wear foundation but i still put powder on to put over like, my concealer and that so it could have done with like a concealer and at least a mascara and that but other than that it seems fine like you can wear that stuff as like a normal natural kind of look and that if it's starting off it would be like a nice kit for like starting off like doing makeup and everything so yeah it's nice um i will check in with you guys like later on in the days and everything i probably will have to apply my lipstick again from like drinking and eating and everything but i just want to see how long the rest of it lasts and that and see how long it goes and that but i'll check in with you guys every now and then it's currently 207 
um so yeah and then i'll check in every now and then like maybe after tea and that but i will be end up having my lunch in a minute i need to paint my nails for college um because i've done my feet i just need to do my nails and then um i need to eat lunch but i'll check in after tea and then see how it is going and then i'll check in with you guys when i take it off and that so yeah but to give it some more chance i will use some setting spray um i do use setting spray if i'm like going out somewhere but if i'm not then i don't and i'm just gonna be at home so there's so i wouldn't use it but to give it a more like a, ch a chance in that to as if i am going to be going out or something um i'm gonna spray it anyway so yeah but um i'm probably not going to be doing much i'm just gonna finish off doing everything that i need to do well my hands for college and then probably eat and then probably just watch youtube or watch some tv but this is the final look and i'll be back later so i'll see you guys then hi guys so i just found my stuff upstairs and i've just had some tea um it's currently two to six two minutes to six um so yeah and this is how the makeup has lasted it currently looks fine um i'm a bit oily in that in places but other than that it's fine my lipstick has all come off apart from you can see a little tinge around the edges of my lips that part was slightly darker after i finished eating lunch but then I couldn't be bothered to reapply, so I just left it. <clears throat> and then the rest of it has come off apart from a small little thin line. And that from when eating tea. And that, so yeah, that's all I've done. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on with my day with finishing doing the wiping up. Um, watching a um, TV programme with, with my family. And putting away my washing and my stuff that I did for college and that. So yeah, I can do that and then I'll probably end up taking off and showing you guys what it looks like. I thought I'd pop back on just to show you guys what my makeup looks like now. Um, since I'm about to take it off and get ready for bed. So I thought I'd just pop back on. Um, it has been coming off in some... Let me actually face the light. Um, it's going patchy a bit um all over my face and that and then it is coming off a bit on like my, my chin around my mouth area and that so yeah like my brows stayed intact my eyeshadow has kind of stayed intact kind of um so yeah. mascara even though it's mine um it has come down like underneath my eye a bit but that is purely because it's my mascara so yeah that wasn't in the kit but my eyes are a bit oily so the shadow has gone a bit clumpy towards like the crease area and that i'm coming off um the eyeliner has stayed on and that but yeah everything has gone a bit patchy and that a bit on my skin but I have been wearing it for a while and that. So yeah, um, it's currently like 7 to 9 at the moment and that. So yeah, I'm just going to take this off and get ready for bed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.